I can think of all the times you told me not to touch the light. I never thought that you would be the one. I couldn't really justify how you even thought it could be right. Cause everything we cherished is fine. And in the end, can you tell me if it was worth the try so I can decide? Leaves will soon grow from the bareness of trees, and all will be all right in time. From waves overgrown from the calmness of seas And all will be all right in time And you never really love someone until You learn to forgive Oh, you really love someone until you learn to forgive. Hello, maayong gabi. It's me again, Caro, and so blessed. And though it's lockdown, and uh, nakaka bless kasi uh, we're in good health. And uh, thanks to each one of us kasi lahat naman po tayo. And to all my uh, viewers, I know na. Uh, whole world talaga nagla-lockdown ngayon because of COVID-19. So, um, sitwasyon natin ngayon ay nasa bahay lang talaga tayo. So, anyway, uh, much more than that. And here I am again. And uh, medyo natagalan yung pag-video ko kasi alam nyo naman, nakaka, ano, uh, alarming kasi yung situation natin. So, medyo, medyo na busy din. So, as what I sung, uh, until you learn to forgive. So, you really love someone until you learn to forgive. O, diba? So, diba? Um, it says there that according to Matthew 6.14 that for if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive. So, kung hindi pala talaga tayo marunong magpapatawad, ay hindi rin tayo patatawari ng ating Panginoon. Kasi, uh, yun talaga ang sinasabi niya, siya nga uh, pinoforgive yung mga sins natin, tayo pa kaya ng mga tao. O, diba? And, pero, how to forgive when it hurts. O, yan kasi ang topic ko this afternoon. It's all about forgiveness and repentance. O, diba? So, uh, aminado naman tayo that it's very hard to forgive. Ang hirap talagang magpapatawad. O, diba? And especially, um, pag talagang nasa, nasa, ano ka, nasa, na part na galit na galit ka. So, talagang isusumpa mo talaga ang isang sitwasyon or isang tao that talagang magbibitiw ka talaga na whatever happens, I will not forgive them. I will not forgive him or her. O, ba So, may mga reasons din kasi yan kung uh, uh, mga factors uh, kung bakit din talaga tayo nahihirapang magpatawad. Especially, uh, sabihin ko na nga yung mga reasons, money matters. Uh, especially kung uh, may nagkakautang sa'yo. And then talagang uh, may kasunduan talaga kayo na kailangan uh, kang bayaran. But then, um, siguro tinatakasan ka, nilalayasan ka, or may ibang situation na um, naging guarantor sila sa mga ganong sitwasyon tapos tinatakasan sila. Ganon. Parang ang hirap din talaga magpapatawad lalo na pang ikaw ay galit. O, oh, ba? And 
Second is, and then yung factor ng infidelity. Alam nyo ba yung infidelity? It's betrayal. Uh, particularly, uh, it's for the husbands and wives. Uh, especially if someone will commit a mistake and if this someone betrayed you and syempre pa ganitong factor kasi doon umaatake yung secret mistakes. O oh, ba? Alam ta naman talaga natin na walang sikretong hindi nabubunyan. Especially pag ang lalaki ang magloko, nako, maraming tenga tayong mga babae. O ba? Malakas kasi yung sense natin na pakiramdam natin na talagang niluloko tayo. O, ganun daw yun. So, uh, I think, sabi nga nila, it's a gift nating mga babae na marunong tayong kumilatis if our husbands betrayed us. So, if that happens, ang hirap natin tatawarin ang ating mga asawa. Napakahirap. O, ba? Lalo na na pag talagang involved ka sa isang situation. Mm -mm. And then, another is uh, family problem or family matters. Especially if something, um, itong sinasabi nila na favoritism na isang family or iba uh, about sa mga um, peers or mga pamana, hindi equal parts or siguro pag-uusapan natin na kung sino yung nakalamang sa isang member ng family, siya talaga yung paborito ng lahat. So, talagang mahirap siyang uh, i-control since uh, sa ganong factor talaga, andun talaga aatake yung mga jealousy. So, andun talagang lalabas yung pride ng isang tao. O, di ba? So, parang inisip ko na din na dito sa mga reasons money matters, infidelity, uh, family problems, and so forth. So, ang dami talagang mga reasons din kung bakit din tayo ay nakakasala. One thing, because we're just human. O, di ba? So, if galit ka, masasabi mo talaga na I will not forgive you. O, oh, ba? Hindi talaga kita patatawarin. But, the most remedy for that is prayer. The answer for uh, uh, your hatred. Kasi kailangan mo talagang magpapatawad. And, yung pagpapatawad na yon is from your heart. Kasi, sabi nga nila, if God forgive us, we should also forgive them, the others. I mean, o oh, ba? And, syempre, it takes time din. Yung mga, uh, uh, yung sinasabi nga nila na talagang pag magpatawad ka sa isang tao, talagang, talagang it takes time. Uh, may, ano din yon may flow kung uh, paano mo rin, mo rin siya mapapatawad? Number one is, you need to meditate for yourself also. Na, bakit talaga kailangan ko siyang patawarin? And, andun yung factor na, uh, to forgive a person is to moving on the situation. Kailangan mo siyang uh, uh, i-move forward na, kailangan mag-move on ka for good. Yan yun. And then, yung sa mga nagkakasala din sa atin, for those who commit mistakes, may tatlong steps din daw yan. Yan. Ito yung sinasabi ko uh, about repentance. O ba? And then, number one is repentance. Yan. For those who commit mistakes, ha? Repentance, which is being sorry about what we did. So, hindi rin pwedeng maging plastic ka just to say, sorry, kailangan sincere yung pagsusorry mo. 
O, oh, diba? So, kailangan talagang, mm, um, from your heart, na talagang dinadaan mo talaga siya sa uh, prayer, na talagang your sincerity is andon. Yes, kailangan mo talagang mag-sorry. And then, uh, and next to that is confession. And then, confession, which is admitting of what we did. So, how could you say sorry if you will not accept your mistakes? If you will not admit your mistakes? Kung sabihin mo, bakit naman ako magsasorry sa kanya? Wala naman akong kasalanan. So, ano yung nagtitake over doon? It's your pride. O, ba? Diba? So, you have also to evaluate na kailangan mong magsorry. So, how to say sorry? How to repent? You should admit your mistakes kailangan mong tanggapin na ikaw ay nagkakamali. So, minsan kasi sa ating tao, uh, pag umaatake na kasi yung pride natin, ang hirap talaga natin uh, aminin na tayo din ay nagkakasala. Especially, uh, pag-usapan natin yung, uh, balikan natin yung uh, family matter. May isang member ng isang family na siya yung bread and butter. Ah, ako yung, I am the bread and water, uh, bread and uh, butter of the family. So, I am the breadwinner, kumbaga. So, kailangan ako yung masusunod, kailangan dominant yung mga decisions ko. Kasi tama ako. Ako yung uh, nagbibigay lahat. So, without thinking if yung mga decisions na ginawa mo ay mali o hindi. O, oh, ba So, For that matter, kailangan uh, i-evaluate mo sa sarili mo. You need to ask yourself, do I need to say sorry? Did I commit mistakes? Yun. Yan yung confession. And, if you have that repentance, if you're confessing, number three is asking for forgiveness. Asking for forgiveness, uh, which is being cleansed and released from what we did. Kasi, kung hindi ka rin mag-ask for forgiveness, I don't think. O, diba? And, dun din sa may galit sa'yo, kung hindi ka rin patatawarin, may galit din yun sila sa puso nila. So, vice versa lang din yun. So, kailangan... Andun din yung sincerity din for asking the forgiveness. So, kailangan din. Kasi, um, mahirap sa isang tao kung nagtatanong ka ng galit ng loob. Galit sa puso. O diba? Mahirap din sa isang tao kung ikaw din ay hindi rin uh, mag ng patawad sa isang tao. So, mahirap magpatawad, mahirap din uh, mag-ask for forgiveness. So, ika nga, uh, there's a saying that it's so hard to forgive the unforgivable. But we should have to do it. Kasi, if we forgive, our hearts will be cleansed. O, oh, diba? So, Anyway, uh, why I share this uh, topic to each one of us. Kasi, napakaliit ng mundo. And our life is just short. And uh, sa mga nangyayari ngayon, uh, medyo hindi lang talaga alarming yung mukha ko. Pero talagang, andun talaga yung prayers. Kailangan idaan natin sa prayers lahat. Kasi, di ba, nagpapanik na nga yung lahat. And, sana din, kung kailan dumating itong virus na to, we'll pray na kung saan din talaga siyang aalis. Na wala siyang ititirang ano, sakit ng loob sa isang tao. Kasi worldwide. And that's what we always pray, na aalis siya ng kusa. 
as soon as possible. And para din makakauwi na rin ang asawa ko. Kasi lockdown din kasi sila sa country kung saan siya nandun. And sa aking mga ka-viewers, and thank you so much for watching my videos. And maraming maraming salamat din sa aking mga subscribers. And keep safe to each one of us. God bless.